Hey guys, Smitty here. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. So we are back in Grounded and what I want to do today is I want to cover my building process for some of the different houses that I create. So if you've seen some of my builds, I obviously have a lot of different like buildings and different houses and a lot of the towns I make. And I just want to cover step by step how I design each of them because they're all a little bit different. They're not just like cookie cutter, but I do follow um, similar principles whenever I'm designing things out. So without further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get right into it. So when I'm building something, I usually start from the ground up. So the first thing I do is I want to lay out exactly where everything's going to go. So whether you're just using floors or if you're using actual foundation, um, it's good just to First of all, just lay out exactly the, the floor plan of, of where you're going to build and then build on top of that. So I'm using the clay foundation and I'm really just using this because, I don't know, the foundation pieces in Grounded right now are pretty, pretty janky. Like sometimes they just don't fit where they should or they're blocked for some reason and it's just hard to know why. And it seems like the clay foundation pieces are a little bit more forgiving in terms of laying them down. So let's just go ahead and lay in the area that we want to build. And then I always like to try to make it a little bit more interesting uh, profile, right? So if we just leave a box like this, it's probably not going to be as interesting when we build on top of it. So I try to make different segments maybe. out this way we'll come out over here as well and maybe we will also have an area over here what do you think does that work yeah so I think that'll work we'll we'll start from this um, you can change it up however you see fit but we'll just we'll play around and work with this the next thing that I like to do is I like to integrate fireplaces into my into my homes it just gives it a nice cozy feel so it's always important to have an idea of where exactly you want to put it so maybe we'll put it right here maybe a little more central in the house can heat everything evenly and I like to use the stone just give it a little bit more distinction from the clay and so we'll build it up a little bit Not sure exactly how high we need to go, but we'll just go. We'll go that high for now. And then use some of the pellet ramps just to give it a little bit nicer profile. And then maybe we'll also throw some stem wall on the side just to add some detailing. All right, we'll take out this bottom part. All right, so there's where our fireplace is gonna be. And then, it's more just figuring out how we're gonna segment the rooms. Do we want a second floor? Uh, I'll start with the, the entrance. I think I want the entrance probably here. Yeah, that'll work. Because then I can do little half spaces over here. And then we can fit the door. Maybe we'll use a wood door. There. Some windows. And usually I do a bit of alternating between windows and the more solid walls. And maybe we'll try to make... Yeah. Maybe we'll try to make this like a, a kitchen area. Bull it up a little bit more, actually. All right, we'll take out this segment. Yeah, so maybe we'll just leave that open as a little window. But I think the idea for this area will be a it'll be a kitchen area. But we'll come back and we'll detail it a little bit later with some some different decorations. So maybe this is more of like a maybe this will be like the dining room. So I'll put like a bigger table with some chairs over here. I think that'll 
I think that'll be the plan. I do need to figure out where I want to put the stairs to get to the next floor. I might just put them here. I think that works. I'll throw on some scaffolding because I don't want the, the scaffolding on this stair just to be hanging like that. I think that just looks a little bit better. Also, you got to be careful how you place these because there's one direction where you can actually walk under it, which, um, you know, might be nice. So, all right, so there's the first floor. And then we need to figure out, so maybe we'll just stick with the weed stem above. Maybe I'll do a window up there. So like I said, we're really just building from the ground up here. So we had the full layout and now we're just going to keep building on top of it. All right, so the first floor, the walls are, are done. So from here, we'll go ahead and lay in the floors. We'll make this section go this way for the floors. And we'll just go ahead and lay all these in. Oh, don't want that there. Get that, I'll get that later. All right, so that works out. We are now covered on this floor. All right, so we have all the floors in now. Now, next what I do is I build up the walls again. And I think what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna change up the type of walls I do just to give a bit of different color to uh, the house here. You don't have to, it's really just to your own preference, but sometimes it looks nice. So we'll just alternate with some of these, some of these, uh, what is this, the fortified or sturdy wall. Well, we'll put some of the solid ones here. So maybe we'll make this just like a balcony. Because it does overhang a little bit just above the kitchen. I think that's what we'll do. So let's me throw in a window piece right here so we'll go half spaces and then we'll throw in some fence yeah so that'll just be a balcony over here what we could do is we could also do, actually do a balcony over here which maybe that's what we'll do and then we'll put a, another balcony area just over here throw in some fence all right that works Okay, I think structurally, let's just go outside. Let's double check. We like, we like it so far. Yeah, I think that works. I think I like how that's, uh, how that's coming along. So next, we'll go ahead and we'll start working on the roof. Oh, looks like we have a missing piece here. So the roof, uh, there's some decisions that we gotta make. One, do we want the roof to come up right to the edge? How do we wanna contour the building with the roof? So, also, which direction do you want to, do you want to do all directions or just two directions up to a point? I am a fan of actually overhanging the roofing just slightly over the edge. I think that just looks more interesting. And I think what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the roof go up this way and up that way instead of roofing all around. Sometimes I do something different, but for this build, I think I'll I'll stick with that. So a lot of things. So when we're building these taller roofs, you got to make sure that you got you have a brace piece here, or else it'll be blocked from building. So we'll, we'll throw those on. I'm not actually sure if I will go want to go up a third one. We'll build the, up the other side here and then decide. All right, let's take a let's take a look here. Do we want to go up another level for the roofs, or is that fine? I think we'll try going up a third layer with the roof. See what that looks like. All right, so layer three. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. So we'll brace the corner here, and then we'll bring it up to the third layer. It'll come up to a point, so that'll look kind of nice. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Do we want to 
do a third layer back here as well. Sometimes it's nice to have different uh, different heights on the roof. Let's see, what do we want to do over here? I don't think we want to hang it. Because that'll block the balcony. So we'll just start right off the... Oh, not there. And then we got to brace the corners. Also got to build up our chimney a little bit higher here. And I think what I'm going to do, just so we have varying heights here on the roof, is I will just flatten off some of this area. And then we do want to bring the roof up over here. Now we'll have to figure out this situation because it doesn't actually line up because we didn't do the half half step here for the roof. But I think we'll be able to work around that. Looks like we might have a bit of a hole here in our roof, but no worry. Usually when something like this happens, I'll just try to cover up just a step beneath. So it's not perfect, but you won't really see it at least anywhere around. So you just got to... Just gotta ignore something like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll cover these sections up just with some of these triangle wall pieces. These are just things for me to stand on. It's not it's not actually part of the build. Just wanna put in some of these triangle pieces here. Let's see, does that look better? Yeah, okay, I'll do that. So unfortunately, because we didn't have exact symmetry on here, that we did have that one wall that stuck out. So what I did was actually destroy that and I brought that little in section just three wide so we ran consistent on top with the the way that the, the roof goes. So just a bit of problem solving there. You always come across those whenever you're doing a build. So we'll raise those up. And we'll bring the wall actually in inside the actual roof like this. It'll give it a little bit more depth when we look at it. It won't look so so flat in the front. Throw on some triangle pieces. I think that works. So we'll get rid of these. What do we think? What do we think from afar? Yeah, okay. That, that looks much better. I definitely like that. I like how we pushed in the wall uh, one layer in instead of just having it on the outside. That makes it look much more interesting. Let's go ahead and finish up this side. Triangle piece. I think we can get one there as well. Now we just got to figure out how we want to finish up this section here. Or maybe we don't actually come out this far. Yeah, that, I think that's probably makes more sense in this situation. So we'll get rid of that. Throw on some triangle pieces. Then we'll also bring this to a point. Do we still like that? Yeah. All right. So structurally, we have our house, right? But it's just a big empty house, right? So now comes the fun part. I really enjoy um, just finding creative ways to decorate and make these these places look interesting so let's get right into that I think the first thing we want to do is the fireplace and we'll throw some torches in here make it look like there's an actual fire going on maybe we'll light every other yeah so sometimes I don't like lighting them all just because sometimes it just feels super bright Sometimes we'll place a trophy above it. Nice decorative piece. This is the kitchen area we were talking about. So we'll place the workbench. I think what we'll also do is we'll put in maybe like a table or some additional food prep. And then maybe like a yeah, like a smoothie bowl. Something like that. And then maybe some 
small ant heads. We'll throw a picture as well. So yeah, decorating is just a lot of like mixing and matching and seeing what looks nice. I think that'll work. So next we'll work on our dining area. So we'll make a larger table. Actually, no. It doesn't need to be double layered. It just needs to be a little bit longer. So we'll do two tables long. And then we'll throw some chairs around it. There we go. And then maybe there were some nice circle tables in the corner. Maybe some maybe some pictures as well. I'll throw you on there. And maybe have a soldier ant head here. Yeah. I think that works. Be happy with that. We'll just throw some some baskets around here. Maybe we have a small circle table right near the fire. The chair's kind of bulky, but we'll go for it. Maybe that'll be like a platter or something. I don't know. We're just playing around. I don't think I can actually fit anything in here, can I? Oh, I can. So we'll throw a chest in here. Maybe some other tools. This wall is kind of empty. Throw some throw some pictures up there. Here we go, nice and cozy. That works. So for this floor, usually I put a lot of like the bedrooms on the on the second floor. So let's try to just splice these out into Maybe some different rooms. Yeah, so this one will have the balcony. So we'll throw some beds in here. Maybe we'll throw a small little table here as well. Maybe this will be a closet area. Put some different outfits on there. Some more chests. And then some tools or weapons or something like that. Let's see, maybe we do one more room. We make this fit. All right, so there's a tight hallway there, but I think that'll work. Put the bed in the middle. Put the chest on one side. Put the table on the other. Maybe we'll throw two chairs out here. Yeah. All right, we also need to light this place a little better so we'll take advantage of the night just to make sure we have proper lighting maybe we'll make this we'll make this a bathroom yeah <laughs> all right we'll call that the bathroom let there be light here All right, there we go. So now we have a nice, well-lit home. See from the outside. There we go. It's nice and well-lit. And so some of the final touches I like to do is just spruce up the outside on some of these builds. So, I mean, this looks a little flat and uninteresting. So, you know, what can we do to make it a little more interesting? So maybe we'll make this like a little storage area or something, right? So this is where we'll store our stems. And maybe we'll throw a little cover. All right? So it just kind of breaks up the, the bland wall there. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Let's see where else we can implement some some different things. Um, so maybe what we do here is we have like a little pen or something. Not sure what, but 
We'll just throw some fencing. Like that. Maybe it'll be like a garden or something. We'll throw... Let's see, do we want to do a little mini roof? Yeah, why not? And then a lot of times for some of these windows, I'll just throw like a mini overhang roof here. Again, just to make the side a little bit more interesting, not look so flat. All right, and I think that's it. So we're, we are done. So that's my process for building buildings and houses and different designs. As you can see, it's just, uh, I, you know, definitely from the ground up, follow some very simple principles of laying down the foundation first, figuring out where I want my fireplace, uh, the rooms, definitely have an idea of like what room I want where. Um, and then you just do some problem solving. So like, you know, obviously here, it wasn't exactly symmetrical. Um, and then details, you know, just have fun, use your imagination. If it works, it does. It works. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, but just try it. As you can see, we got a nice little cozy area. Have our living quarters upstairs. And yeah, so, I mean, some of you guys will find this helpful. Some of you won't kind of take it or leave it, but just wanted to show how I go about building things. If you guys found this video helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.